Luke and Nate here with the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel. Today we're in the woods by a lake and we are going to build a fishing cabin out of nothing but Legos. Sitting next to me here is roughly 400 pounds of Legos. Cost me about $2,400 and getting it here was no easy task. Wow. Oh. Whoa, here, here, look at this. Oh, oh this is heavy. I'm losing track of it. Let's go. Oh. I must get that go. Like this, see? Make a line like this, bud. I think what I need to do is fasten the bricks together using zip ties. And I can just put a zip tie through the through the holes there. I think we need to go buy a bunch of zip ties. Let's go do it. That should do it. I've zip tied all these pieces together. Let's see if this will work. Yeah. Get up. Well, thanks to the zip ties, the roof is working so far. It took me like 15, 20 minutes just to do this one row. And I've got like 20 rows to go, so we'll see. Well, this roof is taking a lot more time than I expect, so we're gonna pack it up, call it for today, and we're gonna start working on this tomorrow. Why hello, it's another beautiful day and I have been zip tying bricks together for hours. I have 12 of these arches done, I have another 12 to go and I am down to my last box of bricks. Just sagging. Once I get more than four arches up, the weight of the arches start to push the walls out. The whole thing sags and it collapses. And there's putting a lot of lateral force on the walls, so the walls are starting to bow out, and that's what's causing the failure. There's a couple solutions. I could make a flying buttress, which is a small wall that's 90 degrees to your main wall that keeps it uh, from buckling outward, but I'd have to make a lot of them and I don't have the bricks for that. Another option is I could get some dowels or rebar and feed it down through the wall to stiffen the wall to keep it from bending out like that. The problem is, is I can't do it on the window. And so the entire span of the window would be too weak. So a third option is that I just scrap the roof all together and I build the walls up extra high and I get two sheets of plywood and I use that for my roof instead. I think I'm gonna go with that option. The downside is I've got to undo four hours worth of zip tying bricks. Clip, clip. 
I'm liking the higher roof on this new design, but we have a lot of leftover Legos. I've got a whole box here and about 20 or 30 laying around. So what I think I'm gonna do is just give us a little more square footage. Yeah, you keep that from crushing the children. Help me, What is that? Look at that. Look at the size of that guy. Check that out. He was just hiding out inside the bricks that were uh, we tore down. That is so cool. All right, guys, we did it. We got the exterior finished before the sunset. So tomorrow we're going to work on the interior. I'm going to get the wood burning stove installed. I'm going to put the chimney and the roof in, and then we're going to camp in this thing. And I cannot wait. The boys are so excited. So instead of using plywood for the roof, I'm gonna use styrofoam sheets. Half the cost, more durable, easier to work with, and much, much lighter. Perfect. A little fire in the fireplace, we're gonna see if this melts the plastic. <laughs> yeah, that's getting pretty hot right there. I think that might uh, melt a little bit of styrofoam around there, so we're gonna see what happens. The stove pipe is clearing out a little space there with the styrofoam. Let that styrofoam kind of do what it's gonna do and we'll see what happens. Well, the brick seems to be okay. It's definitely warm, but it's not hot or soft. But I think the decorative chimney and the styrofoam is not great. I thought, I thought. Yeah, look at that. There's the chimney. Smoking good. Okay, so I know this is going to be bad for the chimney, but I'm not sure how bad. I can feel, I can definitely feel some heat through the bricks. And the most concerning bit is I can see melted red and yellow plastic underneath where it's melted the bricks inside and dripped down. But we'll just have to sort that out later. I don't think we should use the stove a ton. <laughs> there we go, guys an actual tiny fishing cabin made out of Legos with a wood burning stove in it. A chimney. <laughs> you know what we need to do now? What? We need to go fishing. fishing. Should we start fishing? It's a fishing cabin, right? Chip <laughs> sounded, it sounded like the, the baby. Well, we need some light in here. There we go. Well, we had some leftover bricks, so we went ahead and made a Lego outhouse. How do you like your Lego potty, Nathan? Okay. Yeah, it's pretty awesome. Yeah, we got plenty of toilet paper. Oh, ho, I hear somebody. Aha! Our friends who let us build the fort here, uh, they just brought Becca on the ATV, so yay. 
<laughs> Jacob's here! Get it, get it! Got him? Yeah. There you go. Ooh. Hold it. Yeah, we can get a picture. Good job, Tom. That's a nice channel catfish. Yes, it is. Yeah. Really good. Ah! There we go. Nice little channel catfish. Go ahead. Oh, Jacob. We caught Jacob. We caught Jacob. There you go. Adios. Okay, who wants who wants chicken and rice? Yeah, that, that's not too bad. Fire you like it that? <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good, isn't it? Yeah, it looks... Do you want to try some spaghetti? Um, yep. There's plenty of, there's plenty of other things to do. If you guys want to see where to get the Mountain House dehydrated meals, I'll put a link in the description. I'll also put a link in the description to where you can buy these uh, jumbo Lego brick thing or majiggies. Hanging out by a campfire in a cardboard box, man. You're living the dream. Yeah. Oh, hold on. You got a fish. Come over here, buddy. Come over here. Whoa, there's a fin on you! Yeah, go I ahead. Fish. Tommy, I got a fish! Ooh. Right. Look at this, buddy! He caught you? Yeah! Charms under the... Ooh. Okay, look at the camera and say cheese. cheese! Cheese! Congratulations, Nate! Let's get him back in the water, okay? Yeah, I can't believe I died at you! There he goes! Alright guys, I, I think it's time to get ready for bed guys, it's really late. We're gonna say goodnight to mommy and Jacob. Good night guys. Good. See you Goldie. Take care. Privacy! Alright, I'll see you guys in the morning. Well, the boys are to bed and I'm just absolutely enjoying this fire, but I've got work in the morning, so I better go get some sleep. Well, it's about 6.15 in the morning and I've got to get up. I've got work this morning. <laughs> well, the Lego cabin did pretty well. It didn't fall on us. Pretty proud of this project. This has been fun. I'd like to hear what you guys think. So definitely uh, follow us on Facebook and Instagram. I'll put links in the description. You can leave comments and be part of the community there. Unfortunately, YouTube has uh, disabled comments on our channel because my sons are in my videos. So we can't do that right now. What am I going to do when he grows up and becomes too big for this? Love you, Nathan. <laughs> Well, that was fun. Well, thanks for watching, guys. Don't forget to click subscribe and follow us on our adventures. Every Saturday morning, we put out new videos, and I'll see you next Saturday morning. If you like this video, don't forget to check out the Outdoor Boys YouTube channel, where we have hundreds of videos just like this. And don't forget to click subscribe so you can see other great videos every Saturday morning. And hit that bell button so you'll get notifications. Thanks for watching.